continue to go in the trenches. But how do I do it? By being kind to people. That was the secret. Ashiwaju's secret is not about money. Contrary to what people think, is a very compassionate man. I can tell you that. And generous. There's nothing he cannot give. There's nothing he cannot give. Ashiwaju does Ashiwaju really handle money? Not really. I will tell you there's, um, I remember after I finished as governor, we used to have this staff at home. If you need anything, he will say, go and meet so, so, and so. Go and I said, I would have been collecting money from your staff. He said, that's where I collect too. If you like to, fine. You know, and that is who he is. <laughs> when people say about money, I just say, T.G. Jakes was the one who said that people's expectations of you, God will make it a reality. Amen. When they say he owns the money of the world, I just wonder. Mr. Shetika knows that. I will beg him, before we went to Kanduna, Kanduna yesterday, I was begging him just to give me two million naira. I beg, at the end of the day, when he even gave me, I forgot it. Because and it was Mr. Shetima who went to the house to pick it up for me. I packed it, but it was very late. You know, even today, if he had asked us to give you anything, if I have anything in my bag, maybe 150,000, that's what is there. But you are, and I keep telling people, it's not about money. The crowd you see in the rally is not about money. It's somebody they believe that can give them hope in these trying times. Hope is, uh, why do you, we hope at all? If we don't hope as human, human beings, then we, we are not worth living. We wake up every morning hoping that this day will be better. Is it a lie? And that's why when he came up with this slogan, I thought in my mind, yes, everyone has to renew their hope. 